Have you ever wondered why Muslim women, uh, particularly women, dress much more decently in the month of Ramadan compared to the 11 other months? Well, in the following report, my colleague Anas Sabit in our Ramadan series has been speaking with Malama Aisha Mohammed Swala, a public speaker, an author and a life coach for more on this development. In Islam, the rule of dress for women is modesty. Muslim women are required to observe the hijab in front of any man they could theoretically marry. Whilst modesty rules are open to a wide range of interpretations, some Muslim women wear full body garments that only expose the eyes, although there is no Quranic text requiring this extreme. For Malama Aisha Mohammed Swala, an author, a life coach and a public speaker, being modest as a Muslim woman goes beyond the mere covering of the human body. Modesty is not just about the veil itself, it's more than that. Modesty is about our identity as Muslim women, it is about our hire, our behavior, and the shyness between one between us and our Lord, the shyness between us and the angels, the shyness between us and the people surrounding us, and the shyness between us and ourselves. So modesty is beyond that. It's about everything that concludes us as Muslim women. Well, a visit to a Muslim community in and outside Ramadan reveals a clear disparity on how Muslim women dress, with most of them looking more covered in the month of Ramadan compared to the 11 other months. Malama Aisha says this shows how Muslim women endeavor towards changing from bad to good when Ramadan visits. Normally, we see Muslim women trying their best to change in Ramadan, but the problem is after the Ramadan, they go back to um, the way they are. And I will not say that it is bad, but there's no harm in trying. But everything is, is about the intention, because intention is in the heart. And the sincerity in intention, the scholars are saying that it is something that is between the Lord and his creator, and even the angels cannot interfere. So, so far as you are trying your best to change in Ramadan, then try your best, because Ramadan is about like connection, about taqwa, to gain God consciousness. So the intention comes first. So far as you intend to change, then start with the dressing, but don't change after Ramadan because the Lord of Ramadan is the Lord of the rest of the, the, rest of the month. And you cannot fool anyone but yourself. For Barhat Jamal, a radio presenter at Gaskia FM, she tells me how excited she feels seeing Muslim sisters dressed decently during this period. When it comes to Ramadan, I can see there is this um, compulsory or by force iman that comes to the heart. Yeah, I feel excited because they are following the teaching of Islam. Because that's how Islam asks us to dress and they are following it. And I even pray for them to continue. That's why I pray for them to continue. Yeah. Ishafat Muhammad, also known as Cindy Shaban on her part, tells me more Muslim women dress much more decently during the month of Ramadan due to the intensity of various lectures organized by Islamic scholars within the month. During Ramadan, immediately you see a Muslim lady, you know that she's a Muslim. And even the Malams, the Imams, during Ramadan, you see that the preaching is high. They were preaching, you have to dress like this, you have to do this, but um, if we are not in the Ramadan, unless maybe it's Friday, you go to mocks and listen, or even the ladies, they only, they only listen to preachings or Islamic teachings in Ramadan. To keep this modest form of dressing beyond Ramadan, particularly for young children, Barhat suggests that Muslim parents need to change their style of child upbringing from being harsh to being polite to their children. For parents, I think they have a very big role to play, though some are trying their best. Um, but the kids are not listening. So they have to be um, very disciplined, very disciplined. I mean, very disciplined. Because if you talk to uh, the girl and she's not listening, you have to find some ways to talk to her. Because there are some ladies, when you talk to them politely, they will listen rather than shouting on them. So if you, you are talking harsh and you're not listening, talk to them politely, they will change. Malama Aisha was, however, quick to urge Muslim women who are trying to change within this month to do so with a pure intention. By doing so, this will become a habit even outside Ramadan.